So, uh, this idea is shamelessly stolen from a really cool site called fast.ai. Um, uh, in case you don't know it, it's a really good um, actually online course and repository for AI related stuff, mainly deep learning. Um, you can read the details there. But um, I noticed like in this group and this conference and many IT security conferences, IT security is um, sort of skeptical towards AI. So it's often no. seen as a, as a hype. No. No. <laughs> uh, the problem is really what we're being sold. So salespeople not understanding the technology properly, not understanding the limits of the technology properly, and uh, trying to sell to technical people who actually do. Um, we know it's actually harder. You need to have a clear base data set which is not biased. You don't need to train for the wrong things, etc. But my point here in this talk is um, uh, don't, if you forget all of my talk, just take one the last bullet point away back home, don't reject machine learning by per se because it's less advanced statistics. It's neutral. It's a tool. It's really cool, actually, if you like it. Um, and it's a big chance for us if done correctly. So let me give you a couple of examples where it didn't go uh, right. So, for example, if you, if you go to YouTube and you um, look at some videos and eventually, like, the number three video that you'll see is actually a conspiracy theory. Why? Well, the thing is, the, the metric that YouTube uh, used. Um, so the time that you spend watching YouTube videos is the time that they get to sell you ads, right? So that's their metric. So the si side effect is that you get really weird, twisted stuff that keeps you glued to YouTube. Um, and you can try it yourself. Try, try entering Clinton into YouTube, and a, a couple of videos later, you'll actually be at the most weird conspiracy theory. Another example is software, AI software that grades students. Uh, the best trick against that is send garbage, but really well-written garbage, because it's creative, and therefore it's graded creative. Yeah? Anyway, so the point is here, when measure becomes a target, it ceases to be a good measure. So one way to interpret that sentence is people will try to game metrics. For our crowd, attackers will try to game any metric that we use for defense. Um, <clears throat> another way to see this is AI or deep learning especially, or ML, is really good at optimizing towards a metric. So the problem with that is you might lose your target. You might lose what you actually aim for. So metrics are usually just some abstraction for some uh, some proxy variable for what you actually care about. So you need to keep that target in mind. Another example is, again, the YouTube video stuff, is if you plot the log, log scale, the views of videos versus the number of channels linking to it, you see on the right side Russia Today uh, linking really to many, many... Uh, uh, videos of the Mueller report. So they intrinsically somehow understood the game and they gamed the system. So if we lose the target, uh, how can that happen? So basically, you, the real world is more complex. Uh, things change over time and for our industry, attackers are people, they learn. So um, we need to take that into account. So to sum it, sum it up, how many minutes do I have? Go, oh, okay, whatever, yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So if we, my takeaway point is ML is really Can interesting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Um, it's okay to optimize for some metric, but you need to remember a couple of things. So your metric needs to represent some objective reality. Uh, or is it, take care that it's not the wrong thing that you measure. You need to periodically observe if your target moved, because in our industry, the target constantly moves. Um, and you need to, of course, check your input data. So I think Desiree mentioned that in her talk. I don't know if she's here, but basically the, the ground truth always changed for the SOC. Yes, that's how it is. Yeah, so we need to just simply adjust this stuff. So don't reject ML. Just know that People get more in the SOC, for example, using that, they get more interesting jobs. They need to understand the engine. They need to understand the statistics. They need to understand what's happening. 
And a lot of will be pre-filtered, but they need to check the, what they're actually seeing. So keep the context in mind, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you.